This is a special in-depth video about the Breaking Amish cast, Where Are They Now in 2024? Breaking Amish premiered 12 years ago in 2012, and it was immediately a big hit for TLC. It was a show about Mennonite and Amish 20-somethings looking to explore the world and potentially leave their Amish culture and families behind forever. The original cast included Jeremiah, Abe, Rebecca, Sabrina, and Kate. In the first season, they went to New York to live there for a little bit of time. There was a love story, fights, family drama, quote unquote English makeovers, and one of them even became a model. The show got a spin-off called Return to Amish, and along the years, some of the cast quit the show to live a private life, but two continued to film even to this day. Sabrina and Jeremiah recently appeared in Return to Amish Season 8, which aired in 2023. A few fan favorites emerged on Return to Amish, namely Rosanna, Mama Mary, Abe's mom, and Maureen. Let's start with Abe and Rebecca. We met Abe Schmucker and his wife Rebecca during the first season of Breaking Amish. They were 20 and 22 years old. They met, got engaged, and ultimately got married on the show. They had a whole TV wedding. They appeared on Return to Amish until the fourth season in 2017, and since then they decided to leave the show and live a more private life. A few years ago, Rebecca opened up a bit about why they quit the show. She posted on her Instagram, A few years ago, I hated myself and everything I stood for, so I quit the show and started over. It's been scary learning new things and trying different things, but it's been so worth the pain. I've learned that forgiveness and healing is a long, hard road, but it's necessary for good quality of life. I will never be done learning, but I know what I stand for now and I won't be bullied anymore. Don't like me? That's perfectly fine. I'm not looking for a clique to belong to. Rebecca and Abe have been caught up in a controversy about whether or not they knew each other well before the show and whether or not they already actually had a child together. Fans quickly seem to gloss over this and Rebecca said that she was mad about what the editing was like and how the show made it seem like they didn't know each other. So what are Abe and Rebecca up to today? Well, Rebecca did get her GED and we know that Abe is now a truck driver. They are still very happily married and live in Pennsylvania with their two daughters, Malika and Kayla, who are now 12 and 9. And Abe really paid off for the series because a lot of his siblings ended up making appearances on the show throughout the years, and they're all pretty well liked by fans with the exception of his brother, I guess. But this includes his sisters, Esther and Katie Ann, and of course, Mama Mary, his mom, who was shunned for, well, she may still be shunned, I don't know, because she supported Abe and always visited him when he was on vacation with the show. Mama Mary has had a few health issues pop up recently. She announced in 2022 that she had colon cancer and she had to have colon surgery. She had said in 2022, when I did my surgery, they said they got all the cancer. Two weeks later, they called me and said, you have to come in right away. Now they tell me I have stage three cancer, almost stage four. Chemo will not help on stage four, so why should I even do chemo? Despite this, Mary seems in good spirits and keeps posting videos on Instagram once in a while. She recently celebrated her birthday on September 6th. Katie Ann, Abe's little sister, is one of the only cast members that eventually did go back Amish after being on the show. She got married and had children, but is obviously very private. Let's talk about Jeremiah Raber. Jeremiah was adopted into the Amish community in Ohio, and when the show started, we learned that he had three kids. By 2016, Jeremiah had a new love interest, Carmela, who herself had four kids. They got married on the show, and Jeremiah has always been a little 
messy with his relationships, let's say. And so here we go. I'll explain a little bit of what happened. In April 2017, Carmela alleged that there was some violence going on in their relationship. Jeremiah denied this and said that his wife was seeking the spotlight. Anyways, their relationship was tumultuous and they did reconcile but split up for good in 2022. Jeremiah then moved back to Ohio, his hometown, following that whole drama. He moved into a fixer upper house that he is currently still kind of fixing up. There's a lot of work to do, let's just put it that way. Jeremiah also started selling Tupperware and seems to have been doing well with that. He continues to appear on the show and in recent seasons discovered who his real parents were and how basically his biological dad was apparently murdered by his aunt, who he was married to. The incredibly crazy story goes that Jeremiah's dad, Larry Hiltabeitel, had Jeremiah with his wife's sister, Sherry. That's right, guys, his wife's sister. And Jeremiah was adopted by an Amish couple, um, the Rabers in Ohio. Jeremiah got to meet his grandmother recently and connected with a lot of his cousins on the show. They're all very alike. It's kind of striking. And speaking of messy, let's talk about Sabrina, who for a moment had something happening with Jeremiah, but it didn't really pan out. Sabrina still appears on Return to Amish, and her storyline is her tumultuous relationship with her baby's father, Jethro. Sabrina now has six children with three fathers. Let's run through it, shall we? Sabrina gave birth to son Arrow Reno on February 22nd, 2023, and Arrow's dad is Sabrina's new boyfriend, Scotty. She also has son... Zakaya and daughters Skylar and Kalani with her ex Jethro and her older daughters Oakley and Ariana with ex-boyfriend Harry Kreiser III. So Sabrina has been pregnant a lot on basically every season and things with Scotty seems like they're going good. Sabrina also announced that she is getting a Patreon account which is a good way for fans to support her. Sabrina does not have custody of her two older daughters, and this has been since she had issues with drugs in early seasons. She revealed why she didn't allow the kids to get much screen time this season. She said, Reality television may look glamorous and easy from the outside looking in, but at the end of the day, it's a job and it, can't be, it can be very intense at times. That's a lot of pressure to put on anyone, let alone a toddler, and I just want what is best for them. I feel like my children deserve to do the things that make them happy. And now we're going to talk about Kate Stoltz, who is basically a success story for the show. She was scouted by modeling agency in New York when she was there with the cast, and she is now a fashion designer based in New York City. She did a lot as a model and then went to Fashion Institute of Technology in New York. And uh, she was a fashion design major student in 2015. She's really come a long way and doesn't really keep in touch with her castmates. She's just doing her own thing and has not looked back since season one of Breaking Amish. She worked for Cynthia Rowley and was eventually hired as an assistant product designer at Jason Wu. So she's achieved amazing things and her brand, Kate Stoltz, is dedicated to providing high quality, made to measure, sustainable clothing with the, you know, smallest environmental impact possible. Check out her stuff and her Instagram. I mean, she's truly a success story from someone who came from an Amish background and just made it in New York. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching my Breaking Amish update for 2024. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And as always, I appreciate your support in watching the video the whole way through. Bye, guys.